let's talk about some grades. Because Jordan Battle played 17 snaps yesterday. Even before Geno Stone got hurt at the end of the game, he was still playing some snaps. And this is an absolute W. As we learned last week, Lou Anarumo has officially said that because Von Bell is telling him to play Jordan Battle, he's playing Jordan Battle. No, it's not because Lou Anarumo thinks that Jordan Battle is good or that he knows he gives us the best chance to win. He claims that it's because Von Bell is the team captain and Von Bell told him we got to play the guy. So, shout out to Von Bell for, I wish he would have done it earlier, but for helping us play Jordan Battle. 64.6 grade. Not bad. Sam Hubbard had the best coverage grade. He actually did have five coverage snaps as well. I wanted to go ahead and point that out. DJ Turner, 68.1. Josh Newton, 65.2. Um, Von Bell, 63.1. Geno Stone had a 62.7. Now, he did get hurt at the end, but he did play majority of the game. Uh, he did come in at 55 snaps, uh, cover snaps versus 60, which was 60 would be the most, or no, 61 would be the most. Um, <clears throat> overall wise, you know, he should be fine. The, he, there was a scare yesterday. We thought maybe he broke his leg. Apparently, he got hit in the shin and it hurt. And that's pretty much the whole injury is a shin. I got hurt injury. Hopefully he is okay. Even if he's out for a week though. We got Jordan Battle to replace him. And now that Jordan Battle has played some snaps. And actually has played some games. This being his third game he's played this season. He now looks a lot better. He's 64.6 grade. So shout out to him for that fact. Um, pass blocking. Cody Ford. Did not look good. Now, we, when we went through the whole offensive line earlier today at 12 o'clock, broke down every single play, looked at every single player. I will say overall-wise, um, for example, like Marius Mams comes at a 52.5. I disagree with this completely. I think Marius Mams did a really great job in that game. I think Cordell Volson struggled greatly. Um, <coughs> outside of that, though, Kappa he made a couple mistakes. I didn't look too good. Cody Ford, when he was in, he wasn't atrocious, but he did have some key misses, which definitely did not help. Teddy K, 82.8. <coughs> Atlanta Brown, 71.5. Atlanta Brown also should be good. And for those who are asking why, 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 why does Eric All play more than Mike Kosicki? That's why. Pass blocking grades. If you can pass block or run block as a as a tight end, you're going to play every single snap possible for us. This is why, and now learning more and realizing more, if we would have selected Brock Bowers or Michael Mayer, they would have never seen the field. They would have been first round picks or potentially second round picks. Brock Bowers would have been a first. And they would have probably had just as many snaps as Mike Kosicki. Three snaps for Mike Kosicki in this game on plays where we ran the ball. 13 for Eric All. He gets a million snaps for good reason. 20 snaps for Drew Sample. Even though Drew Sample is kind of more or less just a blocking tight end. He's, a, he's like a fullback. He's pretty much a fullback. But this is why if we would have drafted Eric, I mean Brock Bowers or if we would have drafted Michael Mayer, we would not have used any of them. Sam Laporta, we probably wouldn't be utilizing them because we would have tried to make them blockers, realize that they're not blockers and they're vertical threat tight ends, pretty much a big slot receiver. And we would have said, OK, <clears throat> awesome, man, but we're not going to utilize you that much. Because in order to work at our in Zach Taylor's offense, you need to have great run blocking, decent pass blocking, and the ability to run five-yard routes. That's what we ask of our tight ends. It works out in some capacity. Cordell Volson, worst run blocking grades. We could not run the ball yesterday. 
Alright, sorry about the pause. I don't know why I just had a coughing attack, but as you can see, run defensive grade has not been too great for Miles Murphy. But his pass rushing grade so far as the last three games have been absolutely atrocious as well. So we really need him to start getting his butt in the gear and getting better because he needs to be our future. And so far he is... Yeah. 20 pass rushing snaps yesterday and struggled greatly. <clears throat> Run defense. This is why it's so nice having back Mike Hilton. <clears throat> and having him not in the game versus the Ravens really sucked. Is because he's a great run support cornerback. And that's why he'll probably be on this team until he retires. Logan Wilson, Geno Stone, Chris Jenkins, um, Joseph Asai, Cam Taylor Britt, so on and so on. Alright, so... <clears throat> kick returns. Chuck Sizzle. You know. Wait, hold up. I don't remember that Mike Kosicki had a kick return. That's <clears throat> that's kind of crazy to be honest. I don't really <laughs> remember that, but okay. Um, Ryan had his worst punting week yet. Uh, which, to be honest, here's the thing that I don't like about these grades for punters, especially. There's a lot of times where we would punt the ball from the 40 to 45 yard line. So if you're punting the ball from the 40 to 45, you're not going to be punting it that far. You're just not. That's just a fact. You're going to be punting it probably 30, 40 yards at most to try to pin them deep. Because of that, it just ruins the grades for the punter. But it's so stupid because, like, I shouldn't, it shouldn't be average like that. I get how these grades are created, but it shouldn't be average like that. That's bull crap. Like, if a punter, it should be a situational thing with punters. Okay, well, this punter is doing this this game, but because of the situation, we're going to weigh that in. <laughs> While other punters, maybe they're punting the ball every single drive from the 20-yard line, so they can kick it 80 yards. While with, you know, some games, you might be kicking it from the 50 or the 40, so it's a completely different scenario. Like, I don't know. I, I just feel like that should have been a little bit different, but whatever. Um, T. Higgins led our team with the best offensive grades. Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, and Orlando Brown. For our best defensive grades, Trey Hendrickson led the team, which is not surprising at all, as he is an absolute animal. So, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys next one.